All right guys, what is going on? I wasn't planning on doing another video today, but this week out of Bungie just dropped and there's some big news coming and I felt like I had to do a video on it and talk about it and give my thoughts on why I am not happy with some things in this update. So we've got Season of Opulence sandbox changes coming up right here. So I'll read this off for you real quick. Season of Opulence is on fast approach and similar to past seasons, some sandbox changes will arrive with it. Last week, we set your sights on a new raid that begins on June 4, the same day that the new season launches. We wanted to let you know what to expect from the new sandbox so you can plan accordingly. The Destiny dev team has the details. Okay, so here we go. Destiny dev teams. For Season of Opulence, several notable weapons are being adjusted, read nerfed. We want to ensure that encounters, raids and other endgame content, for example, remain a challenge. Some of these weapons have been overwhelming that challenge. Our first choice is to buff underused weapons, but if we continue to push every weapon up higher and higher, it will be impossible to maintain challenging experiences. This is not a full list of changes, but some of the most impactful. Now here's the first thing I want to say. I'm a PvP player, so you know how look. They're nerfing Whisper of the Worm, right? White Nail pulls ammo from reserves now instead and reserve ammunition is increased to 18 without ammo reserve perks. Right, I don't really play PvE, so I've got to be honest, I don't really care. Sleeper Simulant also being nerfed, I think. Again, not really too fussed about that. Lord of Wolves, they're actually nerfing the release of the Wolves perk a little bit. No longer triggers automatically on kill. This effect is now triggered by holding reload, similar to the fundamentals on Hardlight and Borealis. It's kind of interesting for PvP, but it's more of a PvE centric change. Now here's the thing I want to talk about right here, Ace of Spades. This is the one. Bungie needs to, they need to start, if you're going to have PC and you're going to have console, I don't know when, I don't know how, if it's possible, I don't know the way these things work, but we need separate balancing guys. We need separate balancing and we need it really badly. Anyway, before I get into that. So Ace of Spades is pretty hot in the Crucible and has been since its inclusion in Destiny 2 Forsaken. The number of perks on the weapon, combined with the semi-permanent effects of Memento Mori, give the weapon too many advantages compared to other weapons. Now that Memento Mori ends when you stow the weapon, you'll need to make a decision on whether or not you keep the weapon drawn to retain the bonus. So basically Ace of Spades is getting nerfed and I think there's a reasonable argument for Ace being nerfed, whether it's on console or PC. You know, I can kind of understand it. It has so many benefits. Like I said, there's so many perks to Ace of Spades. But the thing is, and the problem that is so jarring to me is that yes, Ace has all these different perks, yet it is not a meta weapon on console. It is completely outshone. Not just by Not Forgotten, guys. It's outshone by any 180 RPM hand cannon in the game. On console, the recoil, the flinch, the difficulty of use that 140 RPM hand cannons offer, means that even with all these perks, this weapon is not used. So that nerf basically means the weapon is going to be used even less, even after the Not Forgotten gets nerfed. And the thing I don't understand is if you're going to do this nerf, because obviously I know Ace of Spades is incredibly strong on PC. It's one of the most used weapons. It probably needs a nerf on PC. It's so good. You can take advantage of all of these crazy perks on PC because of how accurate the guns are. So why can't we make the guns more accurate on console too, so that when you make this change, it's not, you know, a huge problem just for the console players. Similarly, the Not Forgotten is not as much of a problem on PC. So when they nerf Not Forgotten, PC players are disappointed because for the meta on PC, it's just one good option of many. But for console players, they're happy because it's the only weapon you ever see. The reason for that is what? The other guns, the stability and all of that is not what it should be. So can that be addressed? We've got some gameplay here, as you can see. This is actually a video I did a couple of months back. Some of you guys might not have even seen it. I was on a Warlock using Devour, Ace of Spades on console, and I managed to have a pretty good game with it. But let me tell you guys, it is not easy to use on console. So I just don't understand why we can't, you know, balance the sandboxes separately or alternatively, you know, make the changes on console to make it feel similar to how it is on PC. I, d I just don't know why this isn't possible and it's frustrating to see seeing all these nerfs because it's not just Ace of Spades being nerfed. All those weapons above are being nerfed as well. They've nerfed a bunch of exotic armor. Although I will say the super generating exotic armor nerfs, I am not against at all actually. I think they were a little bit too, too good. You shouldn't be focusing on supers only with exotics. I think exotics should offer more than just, or oh, it gives you a super back quickly. I think they should be more unique and the perk should be more interesting. 
that's that's something I definitely feel needs to be changed about these exotics. Because if you're gonna then nerf these super generating exotics, what's gonna happen is no one's gonna ever use them. And I think designing them to just give super back is not necessarily, you know, it shouldn't just be the only thing an exotic offers in my opinion. Although I've gotta say, to be fair, in the article, it does say that other weapons are going to get buffed and these are just some nerfs that, you know, are being brought out. And to Bungie's credit, they, you know, are trying to prepare us for these changes and uh, they, you know, are giving us a heads up. So, you know, you gotta give props for that. The communication is pretty good there. I hope that the communication can get better on other things, you know, related to PVP. Like, are we ever gonna get new PVP maps? We haven't had any new maps since Forsaken. Um, that would be nice. Maybe some new game modes, you know, maybe changes to competitive to make it more accessible and, you know, a more populated playlist. I think the PVP side of things has really, really been, it's been just, I wouldn't, I don't want to say ignored. I don't want to be harsh and say ignored, but it has just been set to the side. It's all been PVE. We had the season of the Drifter, which was Gambit. Uh, we had, you know, the season before that was all PVE. The season coming up is looking like it's all PVE. So maybe once season of Opulence starts to wrap up, we uh, might get some news on PVP stuff. I really do hope so. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. Um, it's going to be interesting, man. June 4th, we've got, you know, all of these changes coming. Not forgotten to nerf. How will it truly affect the sandbox? At this point in time, I think the worst case scenario with the nerf would be that, at least from a console player's perspective, I know it's not common for majority of like the YouTube and Twitch, you know, community members who cover Destiny 2, you know, especially the bigger creators, most of them, they do focus on PC. I myself, I stuck on console. There are a number of other people who've done the same. And I just think it's good to give, you know, the console player's perspective. The reason for that is because the majority of people who play this game do in fact play on console. Anyway, I got a little bit sidetracked, but what I was gonna say was, it's gonna be very, very disappointing and it's gonna be negative if even after the nerf to Not Forgotten on console, the meta doesn't change and people are still just using Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten. I think if that is the case, if that does turn out to be the case, it's going to speak volumes to how poorly the other weapons feel. Specifically, I'm talking about hand cannons. And I know people might think, oh, you're biased, you just like hand cannons. But, you know, regular shooting hand cannons, i.e. 140 RPM hand cannons, have always been a big part of PvP in Destiny. You know, before the, you know, big nerfs to Last Word and Thorn, you know, not many, not many people use 140 RPM legendaries. But after those two guns got nerfed, hand cannons were represented by that archetype. And in Destiny 2, specifically on console, the dominance of 180 RPM hand cannons in the current sandbox for me, I'm not, I'm just not a fan. It just, like, for example, I was playing Iron Banner today on stream and, you know, in Iron Banner, like more so than quick play, I am playing to win because I want to get tokens so I can, you know, try and get a god roll grenade launcher or a god roll hand cannon or whatever. So I'm playing to win. So in certain matches when, you know, everyone on the other teams using Not Forgotten, I will put it on myself. And like when you three tap someone with Not Forgotten, like it's just, it's effortless, but it just doesn't feel rewarding. Like as a player, I don't get that sort of buzz where, you know, I'm hitting my shots. It kind of just does all the work for you. And it really like, I don't know, I don't want to go too far with what I'm about to say, but it kind of takes the soul out of it, man. You know, you want to, when you get that quick kill, you want to feel like you've tamed the beast to an extent, right? Say you're using Last Word or Thorn in Destiny 1 or Hawk Moon, for example, the guns had kick, but their shot was true. Do you know what I mean? As long as you land your shots, it's going to hit and it's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to do, you know, 86 to the head and 47 to the body or whatever they used to do in Destiny 1, where you could do one head, two body in this game. The weapons have way more recoil, they suffer from flinch way more, and they require 100% precision in order to secure a kill. Meanwhile, 180 RPM hand cannons, zero recoil, little to no flinch, no bloom, and they kill in two headshots and two body shots, or in the case of Not Forgotten, two headshots and one body shot. So is anything really gonna change on console for console players, or is it still just gonna be not forgotten and Luna's Howl, and if not those two weapons, a trust or a service revolver or whatever. For me, I really hope that, I don't know, some point down the line Bungie can just fix the way guns feel on console because, you know, you can take the same gun in Destiny 1 and it'll feel snappier, more, you know, just quicker. 
better registration, just a better feel, everything. And maybe it's a, a problem deeply embedded within the game's sandbox and it's not easy to change. There's a you know a big possibility for that. And if that's the case, then I don't know what you can do. Maybe just buff all the stats on the weapons at like the stability and you know, for a start, make them do more damage. Make them do more damage. 71 to the head is not enough damage. That's the that's the first place to start for me. But anyway, guys, I kind of went on a bit of a tangent in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay while I was chatting anyway. And uh, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.